Tammy Addersall has a successful and stable career as a flight attendant, but five years ago her student debt nearly flattened her. The usual um, BA degree is what I did, and then I moved out west about 12 years ago, so just the normal expenses of getting myself settled, and I did use credit cards to help with that as well while I was in school. Her minimum payments alone added up to about a thousand dollars, and she couldn't afford it. Soon the credit card companies started calling. I wasn't really focused on trying to get rid of my dad. I was trying to push it away from my mind that it wasn't actually existent for me. You don't want to just bury your head in the sand and hope it goes away because it won't. At the Credit Counseling Service of Alberta, requests for help quadruple every new year. The nonprofit group says if you owe more on credit cards than you can afford to pay off within three years, it's too much. You have to take action. I actually suggest that you list everything down on a piece of paper. Um, who do you owe the money to? How much is owing? Um, the minimum payment because you want to make sure you make those uh, so you don't hurt your credit rating and the interest rate that you're paying. And then come up with a plan and the best way to plan for that is to develop some sort of spending plan or a budget, uh, reduce what you're spending or used to spending and take that extra money and start parking it towards that debt. Depending on the lifestyle or how you were brought up, if you were never taught how to manage your money then where are you supposed to learn from? Four years ago, Addersall sought help from the CCSA. To pay down her debt, she's stuck to her spending plan and worked a lot of overtime. I'm a little bit ambitious to get it done and over with. She should be debt-free by spring, two years earlier than expected. Really good feeling. Mia Sosia, Global News.